بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد <coughs> Yesterday we spoke about the etiquettes of entering and leaving a place being mindful and being gentle with even the way we close the door making sure we are not slamming the door as we are leaving or letting it close on and so on where it might be a source of disturbance to others making sure we enter our home the same way we enter with our feet with our right foot first and when we are leaving our home or when we are leaving our houses we are leaving with our left foot first as was the teachings in the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu So now continuing on with that same subtopic basically about when you're entering into a place where or a home where there are others sleeping for example when we go home at maybe Isha after Isha Salah there are some that might be sleeping or even when we are entering people's rooms at night when we maybe we need to get something or something of that nature what are the etiquettes of that? And so even the Prophet ﷺ mentioned this and actually showed it by example where, where the famous companion of the Prophet ﷺ, Miqdad ibn al-Aswad said that the Prophet ﷺ, when he used to enter a place at night where others were sleeping the Prophet ﷺ would say salam in such a low voice that the people who are awake would be able to hear him and those that are asleep would not be disturbed by it. And this was the etiquette of the Prophet ﷺ showing us as well that when we enter a place where there are people resting or people sleeping, let it be daytime, let it be nighttime, be very mindful of that and show them the due respect and etiquette of making sure that we are as quiet as we possibly can be. And aside from that, in another um, story by one of this, the great princesses of our eras, I guess, or much before us, Qatar al-Nada, a famous person of her time, a famous, a famous princess of her time, the daughter of Khimraya ibn Ahmad ibn Tal'un, the king of Egypt. So she married the Abbasid Khalifa, Al-Mu'tad bil, al Billah, I believe that was his name. So anyway, she says that my father said, he taught me an important manner. Do not sleep among sitting people and do not sit among sleeping people. And obviously you can take many meanings out of that because that's definitely profound. But for our gathering here, we can understand that being very respectful and mindful of those around us, especially when we are entering an area, being very, being showing, showing them courtesy and being courteous towards them and giving them the due respect of making sure that we are as quiet as we possibly can be to give them their rest. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all tawfiq and grant us all the ability to practice on the Islamic manners. Jazakumullahu khayf. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.